Greetings and salutations you guys, Adrian here. Welcome to a new video. We are at, this is the Goodwill in, where are we? In Orange County. <laughs> this is the Costa Mesa store. There's only one, so if you guys ever want to come over here, it's Costa Mesa location. Tell them Adrian sent you. Oh, this is Roots. This is from Canada. Shout out to everyone in Canada. The store's closing. I gotta hurry up. Oh, jeez Louise. This is a Margo bag. Also, I thought he said 15. He, he, he actually said 50. Five zero. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, what time is it? But yeah, so store's gonna still be open for a hot second. I don't think I'll be here that long. I'm gonna need to be here for only 15 minutes, so we'll be fast. But yeah, I don't think I saw any bags. Um, yeah. Well, there's this Arcadia, but... Mm -hmm. Maybe no. I always like to check the little waterfalls that they have to see if there's anything. How unique. <laughs> it's actually so funny. $3.99. It's actually hilarious. It's kind of cute. I'd probably repaint it if anything, but still cute. Kingstone by Nico, made in Japan. This is an anthropology. I collect these. I actually have like a little set of these. So we're getting, th oh, there's another one. Ooh, hot diggity dog. This is exciting news. I wonder if there are any more. Okay, so far there's two. This, no, this isn't. Tiffany's. No, it's not. It's like that look-alike one. Okay, I have to see if there's any more of these. Oh, wait, is that one? Up there? No, it's not. No, no, that's something else. Something else. Okay, I think... I think there might just be these two. But... That's okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay! What are these? These are actually pretty nice. Um, okay. Oh, this is Anthropology also. Letter P, two ninety nine Rifle Paper Co. Okay, okay. I think we might get this. It doesn't look like there's any marks on it. Oh, you know, I've been thrifting all day. And I'm just going to leave that there for now. But um, I've been thrifting all day. I haven't found any Anthropology, but it seems like I hit the jackpot in this particular store which i am not mad at that's a threshold cup okay upon closer inspection i don't think i'm gonna get that cup the gold is coming off which is sad so that's okay though mm, let's see what else we have i see like a interesting handle uh, oh also anthropology this is the deer nice Okay, now we are looking over at the queer stuff, and oh, there's this hydro flask, this blue one, but it's tinted. There's a Starbucks one for $4.99. Okay, I just found this of uh, two for. I think there's seven, two, four, six. Oh, I wish there was eight. Is it just hiding somewhere else? Uh, oh, well, anyway, set of seven of these glasses. These are actually a pottery barn. It's really hard to see, but they do say pottery barn underneath, but they're $2 each. So they're like kind of expensive because then for the seven, $14, which honestly isn't the worst, but I don't know, but they're like melamine and they're like a blue. They seem like, like a blue glass. They're pretty cute, but I think I can live without them. These are kind of interesting. These are not Starbucks though. These are like those um, lookalike Starbucks ones that you can buy at like, I think, oh, Mainstays. That's like Walmart, I think, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. That's a fun print. Cynthia Rowley. 
Hey guys, of course we are back at the house and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today when we went out thrifting. I'm also gonna share with you guys some stuff that I got last week when I lost my voice and I couldn't speak. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's just jump into it because I think I got some pretty fun stuff. And why did I leave every, like, I literally left everything like on the floor. So let me start off. I love this store so much and I don't know why I, these, this is like the, I always find these cups there. Like these, the, from this collection, these are from Anthropology, and these are some wine glasses, and they are like iridescent, and they have kind of like the scallop design. It's crazy, these are $2.99 each, and I have quite the set of these going on already. I have thrifted so many of these glasses. Uh, and not the wine glasses too many, I think I may have maybe four or five of these now. These stemless glasses though, that look like wine glasses, they could just look like this without the stem part. I think I have like 12. I have a good amount. So I have been collecting, I have the punch bowl, I have the pitcher, and now I have more of these, which is very exciting. I think I have one margarita. I don't know, but I have the whole set over there. I'm actually going to move them to the bar cart very soon. And yeah, so I got two more to add to the collection. Crazy, it's this same store. I feel like almost every week, I think the week before I found other other pieces too like I think I just found maybe one glass but it's strange because a majority of the glasses that I have found have always come from that same store in Costa Mesa so whoever is donating these and like thank you thank you so I have these now while we're on cups I also did end up getting this little guy this is also another anthropology piece and it's the it's a reindeer cup uh, this is from the Christmas collection I think I have the matching plate but I think I actually sold the plate like during Christmas last year. So don't think I have any more, but I have this now, $3. That was cool, I love the little handle, it's super cute. Anthropology mug, I love anthropology mugs, I just collect them and yeah. I have like, if you open the cabinet back there, they're like full of anthropology mugs. I love them, because for some reason, you can collect anthropology mugs and plates and stuff, and then when you put them together, they all still look really good, even though none of them match. So I just love it, I, I like it, I'm crazy. Okay, so. I got those pieces. Then I got these and this is a K-pop band called Twice. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but I got the album and I think like this is from, this is like from one of those like Target things. I think this was $10. $10 for this. Got that. And then I also got this from the K-pop band Girls. And it's like the little, it's like the booklet or whatever, like the magazine thing. And then I think it also comes with, what's inside here? I think this is a poster. No, the CD thing is like inside of here. So pretty cool, I got that. And then I also got this. <laughs> I got like all this K-pop stuff, it's crazy. I don't know which way this goes. I think it goes like this. I don't know what, NCT 127. I don't know what band this is, but my sister said to get it. So I got this. <laughs> I have no clue. But yeah, this one was like five bucks. Okay, so I got that. And then I got these. Okay, these are crazy. I got these for 10 bucks. They're like marked on the bottom with Sharpie. Like these have not been walked on. Like they are in perfect condition other than the Sharpie marks, which hopefully I can remove. Uh, but these are Salvatore Ferragamo little patent leather shoes in like this nude color with gold hardware. They're a 5B. So I don't remember if B means normal or if it means narrow. I have no clue. I have to go look it up again. I always forget. Ferragamo is like the only, like they're one of the only brands that does that. Like with like the whole narrow um, shoe size thing. But they're so cute. They're size five, so they're tiny. But they are so pretty. And they go with this bag that I also got from the Goodwill as well. They had these at the register. Well, they, these they had, they brought out a cart. I saw this on a cart. This one was actually behind the register. Someone, I think someone was trying to buy it and then they ended up not wanting it. I don't know, but this was only literally $5.99. Like it was so, such a good deal, $5.99. But it's a little mini, Furla crossbody bucket bag in this nude pink color. It is so cute. Also, I just noticed I'm wearing orange and black. Like, is it Halloween? Like, what is this? But it is so stinking cute. And it's in like, it's like new condition. It's adorable. It's so fun. I really like this bag. And it's made in Italy too. It's made in Italy furla. This is the good stuff. So, God, it's so cute, right? It's tiny. Tiny. Oh, this one's so, this is like a whole like gift set. Like they all match. Can you, Mother's Day, it's like next week. 
Okay, so then those were all the things that I got at the Goodwill. Now let me show you guys what I got from Crossroads and I also did go to Second Street. I think this was from Second Street? No, Crossroads. This was from Crossroads, $22.50. This is a little Kate Spade card wallet. I'm thinking about giving this to my sister for Mother's Day. I, I'm not 100% sure. I think she wants a small wallet, but I don't know how small. So I don't know if she wants like something like this or something that can hold a little bit more, but this is super duper cute. So this is an option, a Mother's Day option. Then I got another Kate Spade piece. Oh, this this is what I got from Second Street, I believe. Yeah, they take the tags normally. So this one's Second Street. I think this one was um, around twenty dollars also. But this is a little Kate Spade card case, and it's an accordion style. So this one expands. So I'm I'm between these two as the gift for her Mother's Day present. Uh, lots of card slots. She can put cash in there, change, whatever. So many pockets, little snap. There's also like a pocket in the back for like a card that you use the most. So it's easier access. You don't have to like open it. So cute. <coughs> okay, then I also got this one from Second Street. It's a super cute coach crossbody bag. It's a double zip love. Wait, no, is this is from Second Street? No, this is from Crossroads. Sorry. This is from Crossroads. It was 60 five dollars and it's like literally still like in like new condition it has the little paper thing still in the card slots for the built-in card th uh, card things it also comes with the little coach care booklet little hang tag is right here this is a coach keith herring collaboration and it says love right there in magenta two cross or two compartments this fits your phone perfectly inside you can wear it as a cross body which is also adjustable It's like really a cute little bag. So very fun. This is like a great everyday little number because it's so easy and lightweight to carry. This is also a good like park bag or even a good travel bag. So very, very fun. I feel like the only thing that would make it better is if you can actually remove the crossbody strap. And I know this style comes in different iterations. Like this is a popular style that Coach just redoes in like different leathers and stuff. And sometimes they'll change up a couple of things. I actually thrifted like one of these a while back and it actually had removable crossbody straps. So that's actually really nice because then you can just use it as a pouch or like a larger wallet. That's fantastic, but still really cute. A great little bag. Okay, so I got those. Then I got two different Celine sunglasses. Um, this one was $68, these Celines. I actually think I, th I have these, or I had these in black, like all black. These are actually a tortoise shell, and they kind of look like uh, an aviator, kind of, right? And because they have like the metal piece, but these are just like plastic frames, and they have gold hardware. What do you guys think? Should I keep these? I sold the other ones, so I feel like... Yeah, I like these. These are cute. So, $68 for these. I love Celine sunglasses so much. This is the other pair of Celine sunglasses that I got. What's funny, it's just like the, within these past, like, two weekends, I think I thrifted, like, five or six Celine sunglasses, and I think I thrifted, like, over 10 or 12 glasses altogether. So I have a good selection for you guys. Uh, so if you guys are looking for sunglasses, I know you guys have been really liking the sunglasses recently. So I have more. Now these are Celine. These are like a little bit of a cat eye. I really like these. I feel like <laughs> they look really fun. They're just really big, nice and large. I love a big sunglass, especially, especially when it's super sunny. You want to protect as much of your skin as possible, especially this delicate skin around your eyeballs. That's when you get the crow's feet. That's when you get those like lines under your eyes. Like you don't want any of that. So protect them, sunscreen and sunglasses, double protection. So the larger sunglasses, the better. <laughs> um, but oh, I lost the tag on these. Uh, I think these were like $85. These were more expensive. These are actually also new Celine. So the other ones were old Celine. They had the little accent over the E. These are the new Celine without the accent. So this is a newer style, also in the tortoise shell. I love a tortoise shell though. So these are these. These are these are these. These are the Celine sunglasses. So I got those two pairs of Celine sunglasses. Now I have another thing that I got two things of, two pairs of, and they are these. Now these are for me. I've been wanting the platform Doc Martens in like the lower, like the boot, like they're not like the boots. They're like the, I don't know what you call these, but I've been wanting them in these, this style. And I don't know how I found two pairs of these. I actually found this pair last week and this pair I just found yesterday. So I found this on Saturday. I found these last Saturday, which is crazy at two different crossroads. I've literally already worn both of them. Uh, the white ones I got for $37.50. Crazy. And they're fantastic. 
guys, I love them so much. Look, they make me taller. <laughs> I love it. Okay, then these, these are a little bit of different style. Like these have like the cushiony like part around the shoe. Um, and these were more expensive, like double the price. These were $85 and but what worth it. Like these are in really good shape. I think it just has, um, I think this was from today. I got them dirty. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it's nothing. It just needs to be cleaned off. I think I like got dirt on them or something, but really, really cute. They were both in pretty good shape. The white ones had way more wear though, like on the, on the fronts, but that's easy enough to fix. I can fix that. And then if I get tired of the white, I can always change them a different color too. Now I just need to get my hands on brown, like a tan leather one. And then like I kind of want like, <laughs> there's like a taupey tan and then like the darker brown tan. And then like I'll have the colors and I'll be really good. So I actually have a pair of black um, platform docks in, they're like a loafer and I love them. So I don't know. I'm just all about the Doc Martens right now. I wear them almost every day and I'm obsessed. I don't know why I didn't jump onto the Doc Martin bandwagon a long time ago, but I'm here now and I'm living for it. I got like, I got like two pairs of boots. I have now, I have like so many Doc Martens now and it's wild. So yeah, I'm a convert to Doc Martens and that actually is it for this little haul portion of this video. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys had fun checking out what I got. Let me know what your favorite item was that I found. Let me know too if you guys have found anything recently at the thrift store because I always love hearing about your finds as well. Tune in tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I'm gonna link the next live sale up there and down below in the description box as well. You can um, uh, join during the live sales. I do giveaways each live sale as well, but they're only during the sales. So make sure to join if you would like to enter. And if you can't join during the lives, you can always watch the replays and you can still shop from all the replay videos as well. Well, you can check down below in the description box of those videos items availability and their pricing will be there and you can always just send me an email too if you're interested in anything and if you see anything in any of my videos you can always ask as well but that's it for today i love you guys so much tune in tomorrow by early at 7 a.m for a new video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys